Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. We'll see the ionization enthalpy generally depends on the two factors that is the attraction of electron toward the nucleus and the repulsion of electrons among each other, right? And the sealing effect as I told, right? So generally if you see, when, if you go down the groove, this Sailing effect increases and the electrons are not that much attracted towards this neutron and so they can easily be plugged out. Right? And also, you know that SPDF orbitals as I have explained, so the sealing effect is in this uh, order. S orbital has a maximum sealing effect, P has less, lesser, D has it less and F has all those. Why? Because of the shape. S is spherical, for example, this guy will this guy is my neutron, my s this is my neutron, this is my s, let's suppose, uh, um, orbital. This almost covers the whole uh, nucleus, right, properly. So it can shield more. We talk about p orbitals, like this, I have discussed. So p orbitals, if you see, are dumb shells. So they are not able to shield properly. Right? Exam simple example, if you take one. Uh, small ball if you assume this guy is a nucleus and you cover this one with one more ball that is f orbital and you try to put water in this no water won't go because it's all shielded but if you take the same nucleus and try to cover something with let's suppose six balloons like this and try to put water you'll feel that some water can still go because some area is still uncovered right so the shielding effect of six balloons is less than shielding effect of one proper sphere. So before D also if you see the shielding effect will be all the more less and F is all the more less. So this is the order of shielding effect. And uh, as the period increases, sorry, across the period if you see if you go across a period like this, the increase in the nuclear charge is so high I mean, that outweighs the shielding effect. There is very minimum shielding effect because one thing is there is no extra shell added but still let's suppose there are more extra orbitals added but the shielding effect is not that much because the extra shells are not added right and thus the outermost electrons are held more tightly they are hold more tightly and thus the ionization enthalpy increases because more energy is now required to pluck one electron for example from if you go from one uh, atom here, another atom is here, another atom is here. Uh, this, this is a bigger one. I can declare this. So, uh, the size of the atom decreases actually. So, from this guy, it is easy to pick one electron, but from this guy, since it is held more tightly, it is smaller in size, picking out this electron is difficult, right? So, the ionization that will be increased as we go across the period because this atomic size is more easy to plug electron atomic size is less difficult to plug electron right and the moment it goes to the noble gas it is all satisfied it will not even let you take out an electron it will be all the more difficult so so atomic size is not the only parameter there are other parameters also which we will discuss right as we go down the group if you see as we go down the group as i told that if you go down the group uh, the size increase for example this is my electron here, this is my atom here, this is my atom here, this is my atom. Okay, I'm going down the group, right? So plucking electron from here is difficult, plucking from here is little easy, plucking from here is all the more easy, plucking from here is all the more easy, right? Plucking out means taking out the electron. So in this case, if you go down, the ionization energy decreases because the shielding effect by all these uh, orbitals So as I told, there are various factors which we will discuss that governs the ionization enthalpy. One is the nuclear charge. So the more nuclear charge, that means uh, uh, the more tightly a nucleus can hold a particular electron, so the ionization energy will increase. Atomic size, the bigger the size, the lesser the control of nucleus on electron, so the electron can easily come out, right? So the, the bigger the size, the lesser the ionization energy. Correct. 
penetration effect of electron so the more effect uh, the more penetration effect of electron the more is the high energy screening effect or shielding effect increasing shielding effect lesser i because if the outermost electrons are shielded their effective nuclear charge is less and also the uh, arrangement for example half filled full filled are extra stable that's why if you see uh, the noble gas for them the electron uh, is one ionization enthalpy is very high because they are stable and they don't want to lose electron correct so if you see is more about uh, plucking electron right as i told it's more about plucking electron so if you don't want to understand all this just understand that in this in this atom how easily you can pluck electron for example if it has two shells and if it has only one shell it is easy to pluck one electron here because the effective nuclear charge which this guy will experience will be less because this guy will screen the charge this guy will uh, shield the charge so this guy will experience a lesser charge and you can easily pluck this electron but this guy since it's small also there is no there is less uh, shielding it is difficult to pluck one electron and for the noble gas if it is let's suppose somehow eight electrons somewhere three four five six seven eight electrons they all eight in the outermost shell i'm talking about somewhere let's suppose in the d like this shell but let's suppose the eight electrons these eight electrons are there and they are happy so it will be difficult to pluck out electron. So it will be all the more. So it's all about how easy it is easy, how easy or difficult it is to pluck out an electron. That does nothing but ionization in that. Correct. So the as I told right, uh, my boron has lesser ionization enthalpy than beryllium. Correct. Also, my oxygen has lesser ionization enthalpy than nitrogen right the question is why so let's see the electronic configuration of these guys so let's start with boron boron atomic number is 5 so the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 beryllium is 4 this guy is 1s2 2s2 so I'm doing boron and beryllium now first as I told that ionization enthalpy is nothing but ease of plucking the electron. Correct. So in this case, if you see 2p1, my s orbital is filled, the last orbital is filled, right? So it is filled last orbital or valence orbital. Since this filled, it gives extra stability. It is stable. Since it is stable now, little stable, it won't like to lose one electron. But in this case, it is not stable. It can lose electron. In fact, if it lose one electron, it becomes more stable. Correct? So this can lose electron easily. Lose electron easily correct and this guy won't be able to lose electron easily hope you understand this this guy will lose electron easily but this guy will not be able to lose electron boron can lose electron easily because it is not stable if you lose electron the last orbital will become fully filled it will become little stable and beryllium if it lose electron it loses stability so this guy will lose electron easily and it has Boron has less ionization in that. Let's see oxygen and nitrogen. Right? So let's see oxygen. Atomic number 8, 1s2, 2s2. Two before. And let's take uh, nitrogen. 7 atomic number 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. P can have at the max 6 electron. Here it is 3 electron. So it is half filled. Half filled outer 
shell sorry outer sub shell if it is half filled outer sub shell it gives extra stability so this guy is stable since this guy is stable it won't lose electron but if this guy oxygen lose one electron it becomes stable it will become stable so this guy will easily lose electron correct so since this guy is easily, is ready to lose easily electron this guy has lesser ionization enthalpy and nitrogen has more ionization enthalpy hope you understand this it's all about how easy or difficult it can lose electron so the best thing is right electronic configuration with that you can make out if there is a uh, issue of stability here half filled full filled or you can also see the number of shells the uh, the neutron number everything you can find from electronic configuration so if you have electronic configuration of two different uh, elements you can easily make out you can guess which will have higher or lower in that thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again